It's a mystery and a tragedy that people of our region know all too well. A dwindling moose population that has biologists and wildlife officials puzzled. It's happening again, this time in northeast Minnesota, where the DNR there is reporting the moose population has dropped 35% in one year, prompting an immediate cancellation of the moose hunting season and a new aggressive approach by wildlife biologists to come up with answers. High above the forest floor, the hunt is on. Not to harm, but to help. In northeast Minnesota, DNR biologists are fitting 100 moose to determine why the population has dropped so dramatically in the last year. How's she doing? She's at 104.6 right now. We could guess, you know, is it, is it habitat, is it deer, is it predation, is it a combination of factors, is it disease related to, you know, to white-tailed deer, is it disease related to climate change? We just don't know. So until we have a better understanding of why animals are dying, we can't really make any definitive changes in management. Once a moose is tranquilized, the researchers work fast. They have just over an hour to gather all the information, blood, hair, and tissue samples without further traumatizing and damaging the animal. You're very respectful, very quiet, you know, very, you know, you're trying to do your job in the quickest but, and safest way possible, trying to minimize mortality, minimize injuries, because, you know, you're doing something traumatic. You're darting an animal from a helicopter, then you're spending 30 minutes with that animal doing a variety of things. So you're real, real aware of what you're doing, but it's still, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's special. Every, you never get tired of it. You know, every, every moose that I've done or every animal that I've interacted with you have the same feeling. You know, you never, hopefully you never lose that. The moose are being fit with high-tech GPS collars. We have some amazing technology on board. We have uh, some really awesome GPS collars that essentially have uh, the equivalent of a cell phone inside of them. And they essentially will tell us when the animal dies, they will send the team of responders a text message that says the animal has died and with the location of where we can find it at. Researchers are also putting a device in the digestive tracts of 27 animals. If the device senses the moose's heart has stopped, it will alert researchers of mortality through a text message. Strangely enough, messages of hope. Hope of answers as to why the numbers of these iconic animals are rapidly dropping, first in northwestern, now northeastern Minnesota. GPS signal